Hey everyone, it's Onglor. Welcome to the video. Glad to have you here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Headman's Cleaver, a mod added with the Anniversary Edition of Skyrim. So, as we can see here, somebody stole one of the Queen's Blades. She's very upset about it and wants the person dead. She doesn't really care about the weapon too much, so what we're going to do is go get the weapon, kill the person, and then keep it for ourselves. How nice, right? So, I think it looks pretty cool. I've always really enjoyed using two-handed weapons. Now, let's get started. To trigger this quest, all we have to do is talk to any innkeeper in Skyrim for some work. Then it will start the blood and water quest. Then we have to read the note that they put in our inventory. Then from there, we're going to have to head over to Lost Knife Hideout and get things going. I'm pretty sure many of us have been to this location quite a few times. I know I have for various amounts of quests. Now, once we head inside, there are going to be quite a few bandits to fight. Now, they're really not too tough. It's just there's a lot of them to fight because this is kind of the entrance leading to the spot that we need to be. So, after we are done killing all of these bandits and grabbing all the loot, because I know for certain I like to grab pretty much everything that I see and sell it for gold. Now, once we're done taking care of the last bandit, there is our target. Now, I had plans to make a dramatic entrance, shoot him with my first arrow, maybe almost kill him, but that didn't work out because, well, naturally I missed with my first arrow. So all the bandits are chasing us down and I was expecting a pretty difficult boss fight because, you know, he has some pretty good armor on and he has a weapon that we want, but he went down rather fast. I mean, the dude in front of him put up more of a challenge because apparently he was able to hold up his shield the entire time. And block every single one of my attacks so after we're done killing all the bandits and grabbing the loot because there is a nice big chest back there for us to grab we're going to head up to the body and grab the actual weapon and you guys should actually read his journal as well the npc also dropped some pretty nice armor so make sure to snag that all up and as you can see we completed the quest now what we're going to do is take a look at the weapon itself 29 damage 24 carry weight and just shy of 3,000 gold in value which i think is not too shabby so here as the weapon looks and you know what i think it looks pretty cool i've always enjoyed two-handed weapons very much so now we're going to take this out into live combat and see how it fares i've been running around with this weapon in skyrim for about a day now swimming aimlessly missing a lot of my attacks for some apparent reason and also my blocks as well i'm just having like an off day today but I had a lot of fun using this weapon. It does a pretty good amount of damage in my opinion because I have no perks in the two-handed weapons whatsoever. And this playthrough is a sword and shield. So as far as the damage is concerned, I think it's pretty solid. And I can only imagine the more it would do if it was enchanted as well. So if you guys have the opportunity to install this mod and give it a try, I recommend you do so. Alright guys, that is the end of this video. I want to thank you for watching. If this is your first time visiting the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And then if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. It'll definitely mean a lot to me. Alright guys, this is the end of this one. Happy adventuring in Skyrim. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.